Hey everyone, Kelly Dean Allen here again. Today on Quick Riffs, by request, we have simply one of the greatest hard rock guitar riffs of the 80s and one of the most difficult to play. The opening riff to Lay It Down by Warren D. Martini and Rat. Uh, so with that said, let's close in and learn how to play it, yeah? All right then, the absolutely fantastic opening riff to Lay It Down by Warren D. Martini and Rat. Uh, fair warning, this is not an easy riff to play. We have a number of pinky pull-offs that you really need to dig into, you know, to get them to ring out. Uh, we have big stretches going on right in the middle of the fretboard, so it is a tough riff. Uh, we are in drop D tuning for this, so take your low E string, tune it down one full step to D. <laughs> and the rest is standard tuning. Now we're not going to be using that for the main body of the riff. There's a little transition in the middle of the riff where we where we do that, but uh, for the main body of the riff we're not even touching upon the uh, the low E string. So it starts with a D major chord here at the 5th fret position, full bar, four middle strings. And we're going to keep bouncing back to this 5th fret of the A string, this D note here that we're holding with our index. Pretty much after every pull off and after every chord strike, we're going to bounce back to that for a double hit. And it's all down strokes. So after you go back to that 5 for a double hit, then you're going to drop your pinky onto the 8th fret of the B and pull it off to the bar. And then right back to that 5th fret for another quick double hit. Then you're going to jump up here to the 9th fret of the G while you're still holding this D chord and you're going to pull that off to the bar. This one's a little tricky. You really need to dig into that one to get it to ring out. Right? Back to that 5 again. And then you're going to drop right back onto that 9, strike the chord. Now here's the stretch. So. After you drop back onto that 9, strike the chord, and then you go back to that 5 again for a double hit, you're going to strike the chord, then you're going to move, while you're still holding your index on the 5, you're going to move this 7 and 9 of the D and the G up to 8 and 10. And that's a big stretch. Back to that 5, double hit, strike the chord. Now we're going to take that 5, pick it once, and slide it into 7, and then drop onto the uh, the 10 of the uh, D with your ring finger, 12 of the G with your pinky. It's the same chord we were just holding, but moved up two spots, right? But you're not just going to slide the whole thing, you're going to slide just on the A string from 5 to 7, and then drop into the chord. And then you're going to go off to a C major chord, move it into D, start the riff again, right? Right, so that is about the first quarter of the riff. And you're going to start it again. And when you get to that point, when you do that little transition, that little uh, shift up to the uh, the 8 and the 10, the, the, the real stretchy chord, right, we're going to drop into the mid-riff kind of transition, right? Right there where the drop D tuning is coming into play. So uh, open uh, chugs, palm muted chugs of the open E, open A three times, then you're going to hammer onto the second fret. Right? And then you're going to do the exact same thing, moving from 2 to 3, and then 3 to 5. Kind of like that, right? Like triple hits, slide, triple hits, slide, right? And then you drop right back into D, play the, uh, the same riff. Again. And at this point, the riff is coming to an end. We're getting into the first verse. At this point, when you drop onto that 9 after the pull-off, right there, we're going to just move off to C. And after you move off to C, you're going to drop your pinky onto the sus here at the 6th fret, pull it off to the bar, and just ride up the strings. 
right after a quick double hit of that uh, C note there at the third fret. Then you're gonna grab that C, move it into D, let it ring, first verse begins. And that is the opening riff to lay it down. I certainly hope that was clear. And uh, so let's run through it nice and slow right from the beginning. have it. That is how you play the opening riff to Lay It Down by Warren D. Martini and Rat. Certainly hope you enjoyed the video, found it helpful and accurate. I think it's pretty darn close. Uh, if you did, please hit that like button right down there. Maybe drop me a subscribe if you haven't done that already, as that would be very kind and helpful to the growth of my little channel. I uh, hope you're well out there in your little guitar corner of the world, and we will see you next time. Cheers.